Hi everyone, it's Friday, April 3rd. My name's Pastor Kevin, and I wanted to offer you some words of encouragement today. Now, I'm down in Iowa at the Hog Barn, and as I came down here today, I'd been thinking this past week about what I wanted to say as I'm working down here. And I thought of Mark chapter five. In Mark chapter five, we have some different stories of Jesus doing some amazing healings. We have the story in the beginning of Jesus casting out some demons. In the middle of Mark chapter 5, we have the story of Jesus healing a woman who had been suffering from bleeding. And then near the end of Mark chapter 5, we have the story where Jesus raised a young girl from the dead. Today, I'd like to share with you the beginning of Mark chapter 5. And it says this. And so this is what I would like to share with you. In Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 20, it says this. They went across the lake to the region of the Gerasenes. When Jesus got out of a boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. For he had often been chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills he would cry out and cut himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and he fell on his knees in front of him, and he shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? In God's name, don't torture me. For Jesus had said to him, Come out of this man, you impure spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many. And he bade Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. Now a large herd of pigs was feeding on the nearby hillside. The demons bade Jesus, send us among the pigs and allow us to go to them. He gave them permission, and the impure spirits came out and went into the pigs. The herd, about 2,000 in number, rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned. Now those tending the pigs ran off and reported this in the town to the countryside. And all the people went out to see what had happened. When they came to Jesus, they saw the man who had been possessed by the legion of demons sitting there, dressed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. Those who had seen it told the people what had happened to the demon-possessed man and told about the pigs as well. Then the people began to plead with Jesus to leave their region. And as Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had been demon-possessed begged to go with him. Jesus did not let him go, but said, Go home to your own people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. So the man went away and began to tell in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done, and all the people were amazed. Now, I thought about that story, and we could talk about the fact that that Jesus healed him, that he had sent out uh, all of these demons out of the man, and the man was in his right mind, and people came to know Jesus because of him. But there was something else that struck me, and that was this, that when Jesus sent out uh, the demons and he sent them into pigs, it said this, there were about 2,000 head of hogs that these demons went into. And I wondered this, do you have any idea what 2,000 head of hogs looks like? Well, guess what? You're in luck. Because today, if you don't know what that looks like, I'm about to show you what 2,000 head of hogs look like. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite you to come and uh, take a look at our barn. And so come with me, and I'm going to show you what 2,000 head of hogs looks like. Now here's the thing, it's gonna be noisy, and the pigs are gonna grunt, and they're gonna make a lot of noise, but I want you to see what it looks like. So, keep coming this way. And if you look down in for these pigs, these are all the hogs. These are all the hogs that I come and try to help take care of on Fridays and uh, just take care of them so you can see them. But here's the thing. For many of you, as you look through this barn, you would say, oh my goodness, that's a lot of hogs. But the thing is this, this is only half of 2,000. 
if you really want to see, you have to come with me again. Because really, there's a whole other side. If you take both sides, that side and the whole side, this is about 2,000 head of hogs. Imagine Jesus sent demons into all of these hogs on that day when he healed the man who came down from the garrisons. With that, I just hope you have a great day. Stay safe. Be wise, and we'll talk again soon. Blessings.